Sunday, May 16 to 015. I am making a video of my impatience. One guinea pig with drooling, saliva coming out from the mouth. One hamster with a lower eyelid abscess. One other hamster, the black one, with cheek pouch infection and the terrapin with swollen and closed eyes and not eating. So now we will take out, come this side, we will take out the guinea pig first and, and uh, put it here. Now we open the mouth and check. Now the complaint is, complaint is saliva drooling. That is the complaint. And so now you can see I've given injection antibiotics and anti-inflammatory and uh, I checked the molars, they are not very sharp. Now we open the mouth, the incisors, the incisors, check the incisor teeth. I have trimmed, trimmed, trimmed them a bit, trimmed them a bit shorter. And uh, has, today there is no salivation. We have to, we have to uh, clean, clean all this. There seems to be no salivation now, but there's only today. After trimming the, the incisor teeth, a bit shorter upper and lower incisors. Inside the molars uh, feels normal, there are no molar spurs. So we put inside first. So this is overnight the stools, they look normal, has a good appetite. There are about 20 pellets of stools. So we have to observe this guinea pig again. Now we will go to the terrapin. So for this terrapin, it's quite active and uh, Okay, we put it here and I see the eyes are open or not. They check the eyes are open. Let me see. And put the eye drops. Wait now, you see the eyes open or not? Is eyes, are the eyes open? It looks like the eyes are open. The left eyes are open now, open or close. Put down, put down, put down. Put like this. Huh? So the left eyes is open and the right eye is open. So you can go home already today. So we put eye drops and uh, it should be, it should be uh, not not so swollen. The eyes are not swollen. Now, take the take the weighing machine and we weigh the therapine. See how many grams, and uh, it can go already after five days of inpatient treatment and uh, sunlight and medication. He looks very active now, and uh, he came in with 16 grams about five days ago, and uh, we'll see how. How is his weight today? See whether it's more than 16 grams. Now, he he needs a bit of sunlight, that's why that is to... So we see the zero, put the zero. Then we weigh him before he goes home. Let's put the zero. Hmm. Okay, come. How many? Zero, zero. Put the zero, okay. Okay, come, zero already. Zero, okay, come. So I put the therapy in. No, it's not zero. Sometimes the, the table not not. Uh, okay, we put it in. It's zero now. So, what is the how many grams is it? How many grams? Sixteen. Sixteen grams. Didn't lose weight and didn't put on weight after five days here. But the eyes are no more swollen, and uh, you can go home and then slowly eat the new pellets, not the old ones. Uh, definitely more active. So okay, put it back. Now we we'll look. Uh, we we'll check the hamster. This one put down first. So now we look at the patient number three, the black hamster, the pouch. Now we take it out and check the pouch, and it goes home today as well. Uh, just take it out and check the check the pouch here. Yeah, put it here. Check the left cheek pouch. And the eyes, is it? Is it uh, the eyes is a bit wet? It looks better, not so inflamed. Although I didn't uh, give any antibiotics or any anti-inflammatory, just put the eye drops. So today, put eye drops again. Put it back first, and then get ready the eye drops. Okay, now ready eye drops. Open up. Okay, ready. Now put put eye drops in. We put eye drops. Anti-inflammatory. Let me see. Uh, anti-inflammatory in. And also eye ointment, I know eye drop into the ears or so. It seems to be much less uh, scratching. And the ears or so, the ears. 
put inside the ears. We did it yesterday and uh, he definitely looks much better today. Not so inflamed as uh, when he first came in. You see the other video, you tell. So, so okay, you can put back already. Then the last patient is the one with the subconjunctival abscess. So we'll take it out. And uh, we did cotton bud ready, eye drop ready. We'll, we'll check the, the abscess again. Okay, now this is the left eye. Is it swollen? It's still swollen a bit. So open up the wound. No, open up the wound. Yeah, uh, uh, correct. Open up the wound. Open up more. Open up. Uh, press for abscess to come out. Any more abscess? Uh, that's right. From top also. Below up. Up also. Up. Any abscess? No, but much bleeding. There's normal blood. No abscess. On top, on top there, yeah. On top here, yeah. See anything, any any abscess? No abscess. Then the other eye, check the other eye. The other seems to be okay already. So we put eye drops again, and it goes home today. So one, two, three, four, going home today. Put eye drops, okay. And uh, put some eye drops in the ear so. One drop in the ear and one drop in the ear. Good. Okay, now put it back in. And uh, so these four patients have been treated and they are going home today. And uh, okay, therapy is definitely no more swollen and, and uh, closed eyes. So it goes back and then this impeded cheek pouch, uh, not so inflamed. And there was uh, only slight infection of a big seat inside the left cheek pouch. This one. Uh, there's no more no more pus coming out of the subconjunctival abscess of the left eye and also up, right eye upper eyelid uh, abscess so it, it can uh, go home and this guinea pig just in yesterday so we don't know whether it was having a salivation tomorrow we will check again so this will be in uh, inpatient so three go home and one stay back for one more day but it's still definitely eating well okay may 17, 2015 Sunday, Topayo Vets, four patients. I have a cat with a, with a left swollen prolapsed eyeball, that one was abandoned. I have a pup with a pus and hematoma above the, the neck. Then I have a dog which comes in for neuter as well as the other schnauzer with vertical ear canal ablation and of course just now that uh, focus panel with fits